Hello, my name is Wayne Godso with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. Today our tech tip will cover the procedure to capture system information when troubleshooting an Avaya ERS 8800 system. We will complete the following steps to capture the ERS 8800 system information. First we will configure the terminal emulator logging. We will enable the logging and name the log file. We will configure the ERS 8800 to capture the system information without interruption. We will capture the system information with a number of CLI commands. And finally, we will view the information from our terminal emulator log file. First thing we're going to do is set up our terminal settings. We're going to go into Change Settings, select Logging, Make sure that we have a file set to log our files. Select Windows. Set this to 20,000. And apply our settings. First thing we're going to do on our CLI is we're going to use the config CLI more false command to make sure that scrolling continues on in our window and we log all of our output to our file. First command we're going to use is the show tech command to grab all of our technical configuration. Next we'll use the show config command to grab all of our configuration settings on the actual switch itself. Next we'll use the show port stats show all command this will grab all of our port statistics from the entire system. Finally, we will use the show port error show all command. This command will show all of our port errors across the entire system on all ports. At this point, we've gathered all of the information available on the system for troubleshooting. Now we'll have a look at our actual output file. As you see here, we've named the uh, file so that we can uh, easily identify it. I'll just scroll through here to make sure that uh, all of the information is here. As you can see, there's an awful lot of information in this file. And in fact, if I scroll down to the bottom here, you'll see that the line count is over 3,000 lines in length. Um, it, is, it is a very large file. Um, at this point now, this file can be used for troubleshooting the system. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.